Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome to another Fortnite Save the World video. So the 5.0 update brought a lot of balance changes to the abilities for pretty much every hero in the game and they were affected in one way or another. Well after the 5.0 update, fellow Fortnite content creator by the name of A1 Get This Money did a video talking about Striker AC and how he is the best in general farming outlander. Now anybody that knows farming in Fortnite, they know that the Pathfinder has been the go-to for the long time now and I didn't believe this when I first heard it but after watching his video and trying it for myself I can confirm that striker AC is pretty nuts for just general material gathering this does not dismiss Pathfinder as a farming hero she is still phenomenal for that she does have her uses but striker AC really does hold his own when it comes to general farming now I'm gonna go through some key differences here between Pathfinder and striker so let's get started Pathfinder has the Diamond Llama, and she also has the Keen Eyes perk, which the Diamond Llama is a huge plus for her. You can get the extra ores from your Llama, and of course, Keen Eyes lets you see the chest and stuff through walls within a certain tile radius. Striker AC does not have either one of those, so these are big in favor of Pathfinder. She also has more in the zone damage, so she's going to be destroying stuff quicker than he would, and she also excels if you guys are going to be looking for rare ores and crystals. So if you guys are going out farming Obsidian, Shadow Shard, Bright Core, Sunbeam, all that type of stuff, Pathfinder is still going to be the go-to best hero for that, and I would not recommend Striker AC. However, Striker AC is going to be for more general material gathering. If you guys need wood, stone, metal, you need nuts and bolts and things like that, Striker AC is going to be absolutely awesome, and this is all due to the recent changes to the anti-material charge. They reduce cooldowns, and a lot of his perks really focus on that. He has the fastest cooldown for anti-material charge now. If if you destroy something with your punch, it will have a 4 second cooldown. If not, it will have a 7 second cooldown. He has stamina cost reduction perk for anti-material charge, and he has increased range, so he's going to be destroying more with one punch. Now, the way this really works out is he has phase shift as well, and what I've been doing is I'll go up to something, if it's like a car or whatever, I'll hit it with my pickaxe, phase shift over to one, hit it with an anti-material charge, phase shift to the next one, whack it with my pickaxe, phase shift to the other, hit it with an anti-material charge, and if you get groups of stuff together, whether it's rocks, trees, you have like the power grids and stuff where you get all the nuts and bolts, you can destroy those with one punch. You're basically phase shifting all over the place, getting a couple whacks with your pickaxe, and then hitting it with an anti-material charge. Due to these insanely low cooldowns, you can destroy pretty much everything and keep doing it consistently. As long as you're destroying one thing with your anti-material charge, it is going to be a four second cooldown i'm destroying two fire trucks with one punch if you find the power grids and stuff you can literally stand in one corner use your anti-material charge you'll plow through everything destroy it all and you'll get like 150 nuts and bolts in like two seconds it's absolutely insane i know the pathfinder has the anti-material charge but she doesn't have the insane cooldowns and the range like striker ac does he has been my go-to farming outlander for the past two days now i go into a mission i can easily come out of an industrial zone with a thousand nuts and bolts in less than five minutes. It's absolutely crazy. If you guys are set on using Pathfinder, I really recommend that you guys give Striker AC a try. The setup I've been using is of course Striker AC in the main hero slot, and then for the support, I use the Pathfinder. Tactical isn't really all that big of a deal. You can use like Carbide for increased Teddy duration. You can use Gunblazer Southie if you have him, so your uh, llamas will drop ammo and stuff. That really doesn't matter. All you need is a Pathfinder and support and Striker AC and you're good to go. But I saw A1 get this money's video. I tried it out for myself and I thought it was absolutely crazy. So I decided to bring a quick video to you guys in case you didn't know. Let me know what you guys think of Striker down in the comment section below. And if you found today's video helpful, a like is always appreciated. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. My name is Morgan. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.